The next project for the Airboat build is the battery box. So I'm making this out of, uh, I think this is one inch aluminum. And what the box is going to be, so obviously it's going to hold the battery. The other thing, things that it's going to do is I'm going to turn it into a, basically into a bench seat. So I'm going to have these uprights, they'll come up, I'll put sheet metal around it. And uh, obviously there'll be a top to it. I'm going to put a hinged lid on it. And I'm going to use the inside of the box, one for the battery, also for the uh, computer, and uh, maybe the fuse panel as well. I haven't thought about that, but probably electronics, all electronics will be inside here. And uh, maybe a bit of storage as well. I was mocking this up and putting it in the boat. And I think it's going to be a little bit too high, so I'm just going to take two inches off it. The frame for the battery box is now done. So that, um, that's pretty sturdy. I actually have it bolted to the, the boat now. And um, so what's next is, um, I'll put some sheet metal on the sides. Now this is all welded, of course. Um, I'm gonna put a lid on here. I have a stainless piano hinge that's coming and I'll probably just put some plate on the top and that'll hinge up. And then for the sides, will just be some lighter sheet metal and I'll, um, I think I'll rivet it together. I wish I had a shear. That'll be on the list of things to buy. A proper brake, a proper shear, and of course a shop big enough to hold it. That's the problem right now. These are the four panels, basically just cut to general shape. Obviously this will come up there. I'm gonna rivet these in, but um, before I do that, to help prevent oil canning, uh, I'm gonna put some um, bead rolls in them.
happened there? This bead didn't work very well, and I wasn't sure why, but now I can see. If you look under here, so that obviously isn't lined up, so it's not in the groove. So this moved. Obviously this roller moved out. So learning new ways to fail, I'll get that sorted out. So this happened probably because when I lift this up, that can move that way. And the way to fix that, I think is with this gear here. So obviously that shouldn't move back and forth. So there is a little grub screw there. Probably metric. And yes, it's metric. Yeah, that should help. Okay, that'll solve that. So now when I lift this up, there's no lateral movement. Let's try that beat again. So that's much better. That's a proper bead. Not the straightest in the world, but um, I'll put that one on the back. This panel I did a little bit more slowly, a little bit more carefully, and uh, got a better result. Nice straighter lines. This is the one that's going to go in the front. And um, so yeah, there is a bit of a learning curve with this bead roller, but I think a lot of it actually is just uh, taking the time to uh, do it carefully. So there's the panel uh, fixed with uh, Clicos holding it together. Now you can probably hear the compressor in the background, uh, and that's because I'm going to start riveting this. Now I have both pop rivets and solid uh, buck rivets. I'm going to use the solids, uh, so that's why the compressor is running. I use a, a pneumatic hammer to, to drive them in. Uh, pop rivets would probably be just fine, but I'm going to use the solids um, just because. So anyway, the Clicos are great. Um, I'll basically uh, mock it up with the Clicos, drill a whole bunch more holes, and rivet it all in. And that will be repeated for all the different panels. On this panel, you can see I did add an ex a couple extra um, beads at the bottom. I'm going to probably add more to pretty much all these panels just for some more rigidity. For rivets, this is what I'm going to use. So I got quite an assortment of just uh, aluminum rivets. There's different hardnesses of the aluminum and obviously different sizes and different heads. Most likely this is what I'll be using for uh, this aluminum box. For tools, I have used this. This is from Eastwood and generally I like Eastwood stuff. But this um, uh, rivet gun, it, it actually didn't work that well. The main problem was with the trigger. It started off fine and then even with lubrication, they got quite binary. It was just like full on, full off. And that kind of made it hard to uh, sneak up on a rivet. So what I use is actually just this really cheap uh, air hammer. And this was like a really cheap, this was like from a super cheap like combo set. But it's got a nice sensitive trigger. And it actually works pretty well. So that's what I use. Uh, I got an assortment of different um, type heads on it. This is for the flat, so I probably will change that out actually. And for the anvil, uh, this was the, it was a sledgehammer, I just got a cheap sledgehammer. Uh, I polished the round end, I actually don't use that end very often. This side I cut off flat and polished it, and that's the side I use. And then for the rounded head rivets, 
uh, there's these different shapes, so uh, most likely it'll be that one that I'll be using. The reason I'm going to use these solid rivets uh, is because they're cheap, they work really well, they're uh, pretty fast, they're pretty easy, and it's kind of fun, just something different. They're um, over pop rivets, they also there's no hole, so they're waterproof. I mean, some pop rivets are waterproof as well, but they're a good, um, anyway, they're a good way to put stuff together. The main structure of the box is now done. So all the panels are on. And um, it's quite, I think it's uh, gonna function quite well. It's quite light, it's very strong. Adding these added uh, quite a bit of rigidity to that frame. So it's probably overbuilt for what it's gonna be. But um, anyway, I'm happy with it so far. Obviously, I'm not a professional riveter or anything like that. and. It's not perfect, but it's functional, and uh, it was fun to put together. Next on this, what I'm gonna do is build a lid, and it has to be strong enough to stand on, and uh, it'll be hinged. For the lid of the box, I'm using uh, basically just scrap. This is 5086 uh, aluminum plate. And I've welded two pieces together because I didn't have one big enough piece. Uh, it's got some reinforcement on the back side there. And then with, it's got a bit of a contour that'll add quite a bit of strength. So the, the reason I want such a heavy lid on here is because I want to be able to stand on this. So this will definitely be strong enough to stand on. And then on here, I just used this uh, UMHW um, to fit the contour, and there will be foam tape or a rubber seal as a weather seal. 
So the next thing to do for the lid is I'm going to put um, sides and uh, front on it. Again, from just some scrap aluminum. For the hinge, I have this uh, just a single stainless steel piano hinge. For this hinge, I decided to rivet it to the uh, lid. And um, the rivets I'm using are these um, solid aluminum that are going in there. On the other side, I just used machine screws and uh, Loctite. And that's basically because these rivets are so permanent, uh, I wanted something that could be removed if I had to. I don't know why I would ever want to take the lid off, but if I did, and um, also just so there's a bit of adjustability in there. But it works well. So there it is. The box is pretty much done. I've got it bolted down with stainless hardware and it's, uh, it's quite sturdy. So obviously the battery will live in here. It's huge, so there's plenty of other space. I'm gonna put the computer in here, the fuse panel, any other electronics, and probably I'll use it for some general storage as well. I'll make some uh, compartments for it. The other things I'm gonna to do to it still are uh, put some foam tape around the edges just so it doesn't rattle, but um, Pretty much done. So the purpose of this box, one is to hold stuff and the other is to act as a seat and to act as a um, place to stand, standing platform. And it is certainly strong enough to stand on. So it's very rigid. It actually doesn't uh, flex at all when I'm standing on it. So I think that'll be quite good. So coming up next, uh, I have quite a few parts and quite a few tools on the way, uh, all working towards getting this started. Thanks for watching.